Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, I'm going to discuss an effective strategy to help you uh, move notes back and forth between different Tinderbox files. Now, you can easily do that. You can copy and paste notes across different Tinderbox files. But as you become more uh, refined in your use of Tinderbox, as you're starting to use a lot of action code and attributes, and you've got values in those attributes, um, you want to be careful uh, and be aware of certain issues. So, for example, if you have attributes in a file and you copy and paste them over to another one, if the other file doesn't have those attributes, you'll lose your data. Um, likewise, if you simply copy over a prototype um, and, and maybe that prototype has the same name as the one in the destination file, um, well, how do you get all of your existing notes to adopt the new prototype? Um, these are some strategies. I have some strategies around that and I want to show you now. So let's pop over here and I'll show you. So I have two Tinderbox files. I have what I'll call the old file and the new file. And the old file has my old meeting notes with the, uh, with the old stylized prototype that I have. Um, and my new file has all of my new uh, prototypes and my new styles and my new interactions. Um, give me an example of what I mean by that. So for example, if I, you'll see both files have P meeting. Uh, and if I look at the click con command one to open up the inspector, and you'll see here, I can look at the action code. And so the action code of the old one is really simple. Just move uh, meetings to a, uh, an archive if, if um, when they're done. Whereas this one has a more extensive uh, set of attribute um, of um, a more extensive um, action code in it. And I want to be able to move that over uh, into the new file. So, but before we get to that level, let me start with one example. So let's take this note called random note. And you'll see here, random note has an attribute and it has a value here. And so if I copy random note over into this file, um, you'll see here now that uh, the attribute is grayed out. Now, when an attribute is grayed out like that, it's telling you that this attribute is not in this destination file. Well, we can add it pretty easily. So all we need to do, it's a two-step process now to bring this node over. So we go ahead and cr first create the attribute. We then can delete the note and then copy the note back in, all right? And then you'll see there's the note with its value. So that's a two-step process to bring random notes over and to be able to both create the, the attribute and retain the value um, of the attributes when you bring the, the note into the new Tinderbox file. Now let's go talk about how we move uh, prototypes and apply the a new prototype to notes in the old existing file. So let's go ahead and copy the P meeting over here and we'll paste it into this file. Now, the very first thing we want to do is remember this note that we just copied in has attributes that this destination file doesn't have. So let's go ahead and make sure we click here and add them in. And so time is an interval and bridge details is a string and uh, my energy alignment score is a number. Okay, so we'll go ahead and now we've got this new note in the file with all of its attributes intact. Now, what do we want to do? Now, what we want to do is take all of our existing meetings and apply the new prototype to them. So there's a, two, uh, a, a few steps that we want to do that. First, we're going to call the old prototype old. And you'll see here by renaming this old photo, to, uh, uh, prototype old, all the existing notes that had been associated with that prototype also took on the new name P prototype old. So that's great. Now, what we want to do is we want to create an agent that will go and look for, and I'll go ahead up here and create an agent. Um, and let me show you a couple two-step process. So first we'll name it. We'll say update prototype, update meeting notes with new prototype. Right? You don't. Really, you can just leave it named agent too. Now, here's the other thing too. I don't really like to write my agent code in here. You can, nothing wrong with it. You can pull this off too and just write directly in there. Personally though, what I like to do with my agents is I apply a code note. And so that way I can write my, uh, with the code note, I can write my uh, action um, code in the text field without the uh, my smart quotes becoming curly quotes automatically. And I can see the, uh, the code font. Likewise, I've added a couple attributes to the code note so I can actually just uh, then immediately enter in the attribute data here. So let's go ahead and now go through the process to show you how to convert these notes to the new prototype uh, template. So the first thing we want to do is go find all the existing notes with the agent by running an agent query. So we'll say prototype equals, and we'll use a double equals because this is an equality argument. And we'll say 
And what we're looking for is P meeting old. Okay. And so we're looking for all of the notes that are related to, that have the prototype P meeting old. And so we'll go ahead and type, paste that in now and we will force the agent to run. Okay, so you now see the agent has found all of the notes that have P meeting old in them. That's great. Now the next step we wanna do is apply an agent action. So let's write the action we want and we'll say prototype equals P meeting, which is the new prototype we have. Now we'll add a semicolon here. Now a couple things, couple learning. You don't put semicolons in agent queries. You do put semicolons in action code. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, another uh, learning opportunity here is the equals and the double equal sign. So double equals, as I just mentioned a few seconds ago, is an equality expression. Does prototype equal P meeting old? A single equals is an assignment expression, meaning assign the value of P meeting to prototype. Um, so that's th those are the distinctions there. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna take this action code and I'm gonna paste it into the action. And as soon as I hit enter, which I'll do right now, um, what it's gonna do is all of the notes automatically changed to the new prototype. Fantastic, it worked great. Now, if we run the agent again too, watch what happens. You'll see now the agent, all of those notes disappear from the agent because no notes now meet the criteria of P meaning old because they've all already been changed to the P meaning. So far, so good, everything's going great. Now watch what happens. We can now take our our note from the old from the new from the new file over here and bring it into this file, and you'll see here works great and all of our, um, our code is uh, available and looking looking really good, uh, and that's how you do it. So that that is a really uh, a clean way on how to be able to move notes back and forth between one tinderbox file and another to be able to create your attributes. Uh, and to ensure that when uh, you're not going to be losing data as you're moving files um, back and forth. Oh, and oh, by the way, I encourage you to kind of look in on some of the action, action code in here. There's some pretty cool stuff in there that you might enjoy uh, learning about. Uh, and then likewise, please like this video, um, subscribe to the, uh, the, um, the channel. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Uh, give, us, give me any comments uh, that you may have. Uh, and then finally, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and let's, uh, let's, um, let's connect and uh, share some thoughts and ideas. And I'll see you at the Tinderbox Forum.